Good morning, everyone. We're actually out live video game hunting. We are at the Retro Rally pop-up market, like you see behind me. Got my buddy Nick back there, the owner box jam. Well, let's go see what we can find today. All right, cool. Thanks to Nick and his amazing uh, skills I've learned. I got a good stack of video games here. I got a couple NES games to keep going off the bat, in which it will definitely increase our small collection. So now let's see what else we can find. So I didn't get much footage after doing the video game market up in Garner, which was done by Retro Riley, as I stated before. So I took the next day and I went around locally, going to pawn shops, to Goodwills, to a bunch of different places. So here, let's go see what I found. Huh. Well then. Anyway, we just got done going to my local pawn shop, the Village Pawn, and uh, they had a bunch of games in the back where they were selling basically $2 a piece, and I got 11 of them. So I think we'll be good. But as you saw in there, there was a little bit of a... Uh, there was music playing, but they were very good staff. They are very nice people. So uh, let's get on. Uh, let's keep on rolling. All right. Next one up for the, the hunt today is Habitat Restore. Let's see what they got. kind of shit. What the fuck? Alright, we're in the back of the media section of uh, Goodwill here. There should be some stuff. Usually the games are right here, but they're not today, so let me dig around and see what I can find. Yeah, from what it looks like, it looks like there's just gonna be some connect stuff here. Uh, random Cabela's that's Looks like it's been chewed by some mice, but uh, I don't know. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. If not, I'm going to the next place. Well, that was a bust. I mean, I got some DVDs, but that's about it. So uh, yeah, we're going up to the next one, which should be traded. Final stop for today, trade it. So I found this back here. This seems interesting. And it has everything in it too. I just, I don't know, do I want that or it'd be cool. Some of the collection editions of Brotherhood, but I don't know. 40 bucks, the box is a little, uh, it's say worn, but we'll see. We'll debate on it. How you guys doing today? And a couple of these are cheap too. $14.99 is not bad. There's $14.99. Bars $14. That usually goes for like over $100 on Amazon. Sneak preview, by the way, but I got a deal coming in. Dealing with the NES or SNES, so 
so I'm definitely going to be looking for some of these games. I'm definitely going to pick up remote control. That's interesting. Let's see uh, what else I can find in here. There's the 25th anniversary. There's this Jeopardy. Another Jeopardy. More Jeopardy. How many freaking Jeopardies? There's so many Jeopardies. Lord have mercy. All right, let me pick through and see what I want. So that visit didn't go as I thought, but I got something different. A little bit better. Let's go back to the office and I'll tell you what happened. So today didn't go as I wanted it to, but we ended up with between the retro Raleigh game market and what I found today, we've got a good haul to say the least. And I'll touch on what happened at Trade It once I get to the big thing that ended up getting there. But let's go over what I actually got from everything pretty much so i ended up getting an n64 game i got the top gear one that's it's somewhere over there but i ended up getting a lot of nes games from the retro rally market i got the combo pack for mario bros and duck hunt i got and i got pinball so these are going to something that i'll also explain at the end of the video but new stuff i got gyromite i got top secret episode I got Karnov, I got Yoshi's Cookie, um, that's pretty much it from the Retro Rally event. I did a lot to help Boxer Chan and did stuff there. But in reference to me and what I got today, so I did get a new NES game, I got the MTV game, which that's gonna be, that's, yeah, that's just, yeah. I bought a bunch of extra stuff as well. Picked up PS4 games, like I said at the pawn shop. They had a bin in the back where it's just $2 a game. So I got new games for me. So the new games for me are going to be Everybody Golfs and then Mass Effect Andromeda, which I played the Mass Effect series. I haven't played it in Andromeda, so this is going to be a cool one. Then I got some spare games, which, you know, Dot Hack and then, you know, Dragon Quest. Then I got some weird ones. I got Borderlands 2 Game of the Year. I got two worlds, which is a little, case a little rough, but the get disc is fine. So I'm really interested in this. It looks like it's an RPG multiplayer, which that'll be pretty nice to play. I got Kanan Lynch Dead Man. I got Need for Speed Underground Rivals, which I'm a big fan of the Underground series as a whole. I got Cars. I got Harley Davidson Motorcycles Race to the Rally. And then I got Portal 2, because, you know, always can enjoy a Portal game. But the big thing that I got, which was that traded, was the Dead or Alive 5 Collector's Edition. Now this has everything but the Steelbook. I paid about 40 bucks for it, which is a little high, but I haven't seen it at all before. And I <laughs> just like it. It's so nice, neat, compact. I'm a big fan of the Dead or Alive series, which a lot of you know, and people that come out to you know be streaming over at twitch i do a lot of the stuff with dead or alive i really enjoy the fighting series i love the volleyball series i just love the series as a whole so this is going to be great part of the collection so i'm i'm really happy about this and if you guys discover more of the collections or if there's any more of these out there please let me know i want to i want to buy more of these so what i stated before was i have spares now what are these spares going to well, you see, I started a trade shelf down there. It's right on the other side. I'm getting all these games together, and they're going to be on the trade. They're all up for trade. Spare ones, copies, everything, you know, everything in between, they're going to be up for trade. So, like, dealing with the, you know, the, the PS4 stuff, that's just, you know, extra games that I could throw into the trade pile. Maybe even some Pokemon games that end up in there. Who knows? We'll see how it plays out. But yeah, let me know what this, what you guys think. This is a quick video. I just wanted to see if test the waters again with video game hunting. See if you guys enjoy it. But until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.